Institute for Fiscal Studies, IFS, has warned that the slow growth rate of the agricultural sector is a threat to economic growth. The 2020 budget indicates, although the sector is projected to grow by 6.9% by the end of 2019, the present rate of 2.6% defeats the year's target. Ghana's economy is projected to grow by 7.1 percentage points for 2019. With a third quarter growth of 6.2%, however, the Institute warns if the agricultural sector fails to grow by at least 7% by December, gross domestic product GDP projections will not be met. What we have seen in the first half of the year is that the agricultural sector grew by 2.6%. So in order to achieve the, the 6% by the end of the year, in the second half of the year, the sector would have to do upwards of 8%, 9%, 10%. They explain this will further impact the expected economic expansion for 2020. So we think that that presents a, a, a risk to the full year projection. You know, if the rate of expansion has slowed down substantially in the first half of the year, you know, then it, you know, it presents a risk to the full year projection. And because the, the, the projection for the agricultural sector is an important component of the projection for the whole economy in, in that sense. The Institute also advised the government to rein in what it calls ambitious revenue projections in the budget. Our tax experts at Pricewaterhouse have implored government to do more to broaden the tax net. At a post-2020 budget analysis, they explained that the deliberate measures uh, to draw the informal sector into the system uh, were absent and that should be reconsidered. The provisional performance for tax revenue for the first nine months was 29 billion Ghana cities, compared to a programmed amount of 32.4 billion Ghana cities, a 10.4% shortfall of the target. According to the PwC, this adverse performance variance accounts for about 61.9% of the shortfall in domestic revenues. PwC says if government intends to meet its targeted tax revenues, it must review the benchmark values, pass the tax exemption bill and introduce strategies to rope in the informal sector. If you indeed are keen on raising taxes from the society, we currently have six bands. Having six bands is not easy to calculate, even for a consultant. Imagine the woman at Mokola, are you asking her as an employer to withhold from payment? That will not happen with your six bands. So we need to have a conversation around those six bands. PwC in its analysis further called for a restructuring of the tax system to avert this ill fate that has been a bane to the economy. For everyone, person who pays tax in Ghana, there's 17 people in the informal sector who are not. That's not a sustainable model. We're talking about people who are potentially running hotels and not paying taxes, people who have restaurants and are not paying taxes, and so on and so forth. Now that goes hand in hand with simplifying the tax system, hence the presumptive tax rates. So you can't expect somebody who has no knowledge about accounting and tax to do all those calculations, get audited financial statements, and calculate tax. You need to make it simple for them.